watching the immersive experience and strategic thinking of SimWorld with now over 10 years of entertaining you here on SimWorld Game Vision. We are SimWorld, and we are your home for all things simulation. Coming to you now from the David Kent Roma Studio at the SimWorld Game Vision Broadcast Center in Topeka, Kansas. This is SimWorld Live, and here to entertain you is our games guru, Nathaniel Jackson. Hey, good catch there, Frodo. Good catch. Uh, welcome to it, everybody. It is, of course, your games guru, Nathaniel Jackson Ronball here. And uh, no, I am not late, as Frodo has pointed out. Uh, we are, of course, uh, ready to have a great evening uh, tonight as we are getting into uh, a, a brand new week of programming. We're going to be getting into... Uh, Planet Zoo, with tonight being the start of the uh, bear theme, we're going to be getting into building a habitat for the giant panda. So we're going to be doing that tonight. And uh, by the way, I hope you guys had a um, an awesome weekend. Uh, and sorry we weren't together yesterday, but we had a neighborhood game night on Discord, and boy did we get a lot done. Um, I have now discovered that with The Sims 4, I can make my dad really piss off my Bob. <laughs> and um, also learn about what Save the Trees mean. So, I, I, I made my, my parents be totally different from what they are in real life. Um, my, if my dad was alive, he would be just rolling over laughing because all the things that I, I'm having him do in Sims 4. But, uh, we had a great time with the neighborhood game night. Uh, we'll probably be doing it, maybe if not later this week again, uh, for sure in the near future. Um, it just depends on, uh, what I've got going on, um, over the next few days. But we'll see. But uh, if we'll have one, we'll definitely let you know. But as I had mentioned, we are getting into the uh, broadcast um, tonight with Planet Zoo. The bear theme has begun. Uh, we will be on week seven coming up uh, in about uh, five weeks. So that will be um, late April. We will be back with this, and we're going to get into the grizzly bears. So we'll be doing that. And then, of course, also after we do all the uh, the planting, the habitat, and bringing the uh, bears into their habitat, uh, we'll monitor the zoo. Now, of course, don't forget over there that big thing. Uh, if you're in the state of Arizona, Indiana, um, if I'm missing out on a state or a city. Uh, let me know in the chat, but uh, Daylight Savings Time officially begins tonight at 2 a.m. So the clocks will basically go 11, 12, 1, 3, 4, and so on. So, yeah, you'll definitely lose that two-hour. Um, now, the thing is, earlier today in the, uh, across the entire studio, I have already changed all the clocks. So... It's officially like 7.04 p.m. here in the studio desk um, uh, with the weather sensor and Trimax uh, set up and everything. And um, I don't mind it because maybe if I get off early tonight, I can take an extra hour of sleep. Ha <laughs> ha See, we beat, the, the, we beat Father Time by changing it before it has to change. And then you still don't lose an hour Asleep. See? That's what the catch is. But anyway. Um, we'll, we'll be definitely uh, changing the clocks again, like I said, tonight. Uh, losing that hour of sleep or uh, losing an hour or whatever. Uh, for us, it'll be actually an hour of uh, broadcast. So I think we'll be uh, off uh, an hour early today. Uh, so, but no, no, that us. We'll be having a good time. And uh, moving on with that. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and um, get ourselves set up here. And 
uh, I'll fit you guys over there. All right. We don't need to worry about pretzel rocks because we don't need that tonight. And uh, let's get ourselves started. Cracking a drink open, getting ready for uh, a busy work night. By the way, I will never, and plus, I didn't get in trouble. Hi, buddy. Yeah, uh, since I had to do a double shift over the weekend, um, I didn't get in trouble, but I will be paid overtime. But uh, Melissa, our news director, basically says, uh, I'll talk with your team. I said, you know who my best ones are, right? And she pretty much knows. I said, if you want to talk to ones that don't, uh, especially that kind of uh, made me have to do a double, especially what we I had to do a couple days ago. You know, those are the ones you need to talk to. But that was pretty rough. That was pretty rough. Um, doing not only a, a, a late afternoon uh, time slot, clear through the daybreak, into the morning hours, down to the noon time. That's almost being at the station 18 hours, I think. Quite dangerous. But, and, uh, hopefully Gray doesn't catch on and get uh, me yelled at by them. Uh, because, you know, they're a great company to work for and all that. Okay, so. Taking a look where we are. Um, 56, 54. Let's uh, get rid of this one. So the last time we were together was uh, last week. Yeah, last week. And uh, we're getting into things. I didn't know that you can move animals and it will feed them immediately. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. So let's see what we got here. Oh, that's fine. Speaking of horses, are all the ones in the Przowski's hungry? Are you hungry? No. But these guys are. Okay. All right. So. So that was getting moved. That's getting moved. And 
and you are getting moved. All right. Make sure that it's all happening. being ejected. And I don't know who you are, but you're also being ejected. All right. Hey. I'm heading home. I heard there is such a thing on Reddit. That you can pop the balloon. He's not going to be happy. Aww. Oh, sorry. Hey, do you know where that area is bland? Can you point that out? Do you, do you know where the area is bland? Is, are you referring to, um, way out back there? I, I mean, I wish I knew. Let's see what else uh, areas I need to work on based on my input. I'm sorry your balloon was popped. What would I do to make you stay? You've been here for, uh, longer than year 42. I, I can't remember what year you came in. Henrietta is on her way out. She did a pretty good job. Uh, I think we discussed the, uh, labor situation. That I think it's because too few, well, the birds and the bees pretty much is that discussion, but also sufficient space. Um, really, I don't see that happening. Two, three. Four, five. So. Ooh. Why is there, um... Why is there two male? Did I never order a ring-tailed female? Here.
No, I never had a a retailed female. But what I can do... Odds look pretty good. Size may be a little down. The immu immunity might be all right, a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get Fatiana. Bring them in. Okay, let me go get the. Uh, Up the quarantine. Okay, so everyone's all pretty much covered. You done? Um. We've already worked on the Cat Boulevard, at least the start of it. And you guys are doing. Uh, not too shabby, right? Oh, that's the baby. Uh, where's the mama at? Mama's gotta be around somewhere. Mama, where are you at? Because that's the father, right? No, that's the mother. So where's the dad at? That's confusing. Where's the dad at? Oh. Stretch it. Okay. Alright, so we got that kind of set up. Um, where do we want... I'm thinking if we're going to do bears, let's do some right here. And then whatever else is left over here. And I think, if I remember... Um, if I take a look at our Ebono... They had our kind of prep notes. I think we had like four bears, the grizzly, the giant panda, and let's see here. Himalayan and Sun Bear. So there's this episode tonight. There's an aggressive bear that we'll have in week seven. And then the Himalayan and Sun Bears in week eight. 
And then when we're back in week two, we'll kind of pick up and pick uh, move with the Cat Boulevard theme uh, that we did in Eastern France. So that kind of gets us about two, three months, maybe. Well, longer than that, if you look at all the episodes, I'd say there's probably a good uh, um, four months there, maybe five months since uh, we go through an eight week rotation and uh, several Zeus is on seven, eight and two. So. OK, so, yeah, I think putting it here would be the best bet. Now, the thing is. See if I could do. Well, let's first find out the dimensions of it. Of what we need. Because that'll be the, the key part. Okay, so let's see. The giant panda, vulnerable, native to the mountains of central China, bamboo forests, so lots of bamboo. That would be uh, something easy I could plant. Um, I don't know how many. We'll, we'll see how many we can put in there. Up to 10 males and females together. They're neutral, but we can't put them in there, but we could do the uh, the viewing habitats. All right, so let's start building a um, an Evernote building list for this, like we always do. And... See where he is. There we go. So giant panda bear. So I have notes on that. Let's see. Um Life expectancy, I don't have that in here, do I? So I'll have that at 20 years. Reproductivity. They're only fertile two, wow, two to three days a year. Talk about, yes, talk about small window. So they got to find that mate, you know, within that 48, 72 hour window out of that 365 days. Or maybe in trouble. But we'll do the best we can. Wow, they have a evolved sixth finger that can help them strip the leaves from bamboo. The only giant panda that does not eat humans or meat. And not used in Chinese traditional medicine. I, I, I strongly like that. There is a subpopulation of giant pandas that are chocolate brown and white. And that the pandas are a symbol of peace. So 
So, if we ever go to war with China, I hope not. If you start seeing um, flags of pandas being dropped over the United States after we've been bombed, China's come to truce. But, I don't know if we'll accept that. I mean, we should, but not if, you know, every metropolitan city in the United States has been bombed. And you're thinking it like Jericho. Um, if you remember that television show that took place here in Kansas. Okay. So going back to my notes, since we can have up to 10... I'm going to do four. This is going to be a rare exhibit where I will do four. Two males, two females, all at the same time. And then we'll say, I think, when I do give birth, it's one or two at a time. But remember, it's very hard to produce. So, 16, 146. Um, grade four, climb proof. think, let's see, four is on the other side. Um, barrier material, if it's going to be grade four. I think what I'll do... I think I'll do concrete with glass and then have the um, the viewing dome thing. That's how I think I'm going to treat this. So, since we kind of know how big, let's go ahead and kind of get this set up. Actually, let me finish my, making my notes because I forgot something. Uh, does it need climbable height? Do they need water? I don't think they do. No, they don't need water. They could have water, but they don't need it. The only reason I say water, because uh, in Minecraft, every time I've seen bamboo and uh, the pandas, they always have water nearby them. Uh, they're temperate. I think they're... Asia and... Yeah, Temperate and Tega. Particular temperature? 36 to 84, so we'll have to uh, address that.
All right, so we got some kind of ideas to kind of work with as far as how we can focus on that. Okay, so. We'll do three by three. Pretty good, reasonable. Much nicer there. Okay. Uh, did we have a great uh, a great height that we had to climb? Then say. Oh, two meters, so we're fine where we're at. But, what I want to do before we kind of dive into this... I want to put... In a barrier here... The window... And it can be standard glass. I 
think I'm going to put it all around. I'll leave that for your like your entrance, maybe if I can make it happen. Not too bad. And remember, there's gonna be a lot of uh, um, bamboo. So you know how bamboo is pretty tall in Minecraft. Speaking of Minecraft, don't forget next Friday, next week officially, is our two-year anniversary. I don't have anything big planned. I don't have Bean Boozle, I don't have anything to give away. Uh, I'm not doing any subathon. If, if you guys want to do something, um, pitch ideas to Frodo, pitch ideas to me. Uh, Frodo will take them on Discord. Um, Anywhere here on Metaverse, the chat, email. Um, it's not too early. I can always say, you know, maybe I could do a, um, maybe a 12 hour subathon. I don't have a charity marathon. I would love to have done that. I would have easily said, yeah. Um, Trevor Project would be one I would go with, or, um, what's that other organization I have on my phone I follow? They're in my mailbox here. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Let's see here. It's not Autism Speaks. Um, Autism Society. I don't know if they're registered with... I don't know. Let me see here real quickly. On the Twitch dashboard. You won't be able to see this, Frodo, because this is more for the broadcast side. I don't know if either of those two are part of any of that. The Trevor Project is, so keep that in mind. The Trevor Project is on uh, registered with Twitch. Um, so that's something we could do for our anniversary. Uh, there is, let's see if the, um, Autism Society is on there. There's Autism Society of Washington, but not the national one. Let me see, there's a bunch of ones here. I see Autism Speaks for Canada. I'm not, no, oh, nope, nope, nope. There's a bunch of, uh, organizations I don't see I just don't see the, the the national one that I been part of and that I fundraise not fundraise but I financially uh, support once a year 
Um, Ha, Autism Society of Oregon, but nothing for Kansas. I don't think we, no, I don't think we got something here in Kansas. However, I just thought of something. Speaking of Kansas. I do know Let's see if they're around in here. We gotta scroll all the way back up to all the top ones. All right, let's see here. Because there's one that our station is a part of and I wouldn't mind getting a station involved. Maybe a little bit, I don't know. Yeah, I've seen a bunch of things for Kansas, but there's some Kansas City, there's regular Kansas. I'm just seeing if I can find one that. Special Olympics. That's one that we have. That were a big part of at the station. And I had been a long time ago part of Special Olympics. Still looking. I'll get back into the game in just a minute. I don't know. We have a lot of uh, different organizations. I'm not really focusing. I don't want to focus on Kansas City because, you know, that's not my DMA and that's not my go-to. If I was part of the TwitchCon Kansas City meetup team with that, I would do something with them. But I don't know any of them or stuff to get with at all. There is, yeah, there is the uh, Children's Hospital in Kansas City, I forgot. That is one that we could. Still looking. Uh, I would not support that organization. Oh, uh, one here in Topeka. It's like, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. Never heard of them the way their name is. If you want to know what it is, I'll tell you sometime off the air. And if you're thinking it's the Westboro Baptist Church, it isn't. Trust me. I don't think they would even be allowed. Let me see if there's anything that 
Now, here is a couple uh, helping hands. We're doing, uh, what are we doing at, on the anniversary? Minecraft. Huh. Well, there is a couple. If there is something that you want, like I, I named a couple of the Helping Hands Humane Society of Topeka. We got like um, the Cat Association of Topeka. They're pretty good. Um, Trevor Project. So if you can think of a couple that you might want to say, hey, let's do it. Uh, let me know and I'll set it all set it up for the uh, Friday show of uh, next week. So, but you have plenty of time. At least get me uh, no later than Tuesday because I got to make phone calls and uh, set things up with Twitch and th set things up with the broadcast and all that. Uh, but I would definitely uh, get into it. Okay. That's what I want to do right now. I'm going to temporarily go off camera. I'm going to change my... My uh, seat cushion here in the studio, the the chair that I've uh, been on, it's uh, getting a little flat. In fact, I investigated into the uh, replacement of that cushion, but fortunately, I would rather do the whole chair if I'm going to do a seat cushion. So, any uh, chair sponsors want to wrangle up to help out, you'll get a free 30 and 60 second advertisement. Just uh, letting you know now. Uh-oh. I don't know what, what that. Undo, please. That is not the width I want.
judge. this way. It's all the way around us. It's just a matter of playing a skill card to it. Yeah, let's wait. Let's get close to the platform. Do that again. Right there. Don't move. Cause... Do what you did over here. You had it just a second ago. Because that's kind of like we did over there, the other one. Ah, it's so beautiful. It's like poetry and art. I knew it was coming. I felt it. I felt the twinge. Ah. 
Just like it's gonna do it here, so might as well get it over with. Even though, dang, that's it. Perfect. All it takes just a little science, a little know how, and it works. Okay, now I'm thinking what's well, gonna do the entrance there. I think that could still work. Uh oh. Undo. There you are. Okay. Domes are in, or the dome entrance is in. I'm going to go flip this around. I want to put the staff entrance for the habitat on this side. be perfect because it's just right down the road from the uh, quarantine area and we'll figure out which um, district this goes to okay um Asia Tega is more like a uh, mountainous biome. That'd be a little muddy there. Temperate, it's kind of like the plains. So I'm thinking. Do a little mud. It's not as much. But I remember it's gonna have bamboo, so it's not like it's gonna be all that weird.
So that kind of can replicate where the bamboo would be grown. Continent, Asia, Biome, Temperate, and Tega. We got to find all the bamboo. I don't care if we burn out the bamboo, but we gotta put a bunch of it in. Cattails, but that's not what I'm wanting. Here, here. All right, we are going to like literally go crazy with bamboo. Actually, what I'll do before we start this. Let's get the basics into the game as far as like all the arrangements and all that stuff. Um, let's get the uh, viewing domes in first because then I can build around it.
I'm gonna try to key, uh, put a bed there. sleep well that last night despite you know us and the insiders and subscribers together for the uh, neighborhood game night another reason I think it's gonna be a short night but I'm gonna do the best I can to get uh, some things in That's pretty good.
Pretty good. Looks good. Hmm. Oh, shoot. Can't put that down. Um... Yeah, let's do a couple other things. Let's do like the chimes. We'll do a rubber tire. So we'll do something like that. This does need to be down to, uh, what was it? 60. to 84. So, I mean, it's, it's about where it is now. But when it's not that, it's usually pretty hot, so. We'll add a couple coolers, air conditioner units to, uh. Keep the zoo on top of everything. Oh. 
Okay, so we got a bunch there. I think I'll put about like, um, where does it at now, right now here at the studio? 45 degrees. 50, something like that. I think that's as pretty much as much as we can get ourselves on that. Whoops, that's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's a pretty good a setup. Um, we don't have like enrichments. As much as I want to, so let me put some more in. Let's see, I already dropped one of those down. There's only just, you know, so much you can add. Okay, so that looks pretty darn good. Now, let's go through. Before I do anything, let's see when we have an open month. Or Zoo Talks. Okay, so we got two in August, two in June. March is coming up. I don't know if I could get one done in March yet. That'd be a lot of work. I'd have to do one in April. Let's set one up. Let's set one up in April. But 
Who are you guys t uh, tied to? Made wolves. And when does the made wolves have theirs? Yeah. Okay. So we can do this definitely. All right. So. First, put the unit down for the education piece. Take off the dome. No, don't need it. Um, all right, hold on. Be flip around. I'm thinking because if we have another um, something here, I don't know what sub bear, grizzle bear. Um, I'll tie it to this pathway. We'll kind of just like take it straight across, and then we'll have another talk either on this side. I don't know if I could do a talk on both sides. I think that would be very challenging. It could be done, though. I'd probably do it over on this side, honestly, because we just don't have room here because of the walkways. Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay, so. Let's go through... And in the process, put our guest yet, our, our talk spot up. Okay. I do not like how that... See how that little gap there? Right in between the stairs? I don't think you can see it because I'm on, on camera. Um... It's right there in the middle. See that little V? That's what's bothering me. I don't think I can... Um... Do something like that. Guess that's more, the best we're gonna do is right there. Okay. Fortunately, you guys are not gonna snap, are you?
Okay, so we got those set up. Now let me get the guardrails because... And I know kids like to be. I don't know how tall it is up there. I would say it's good uh, maybe... I had a look at it. You could probably not break an ankle, but you could probably twist it pretty hard. Still, we need to do it. If I could, I don't know if I can do this. Let's see here. No, no, I don't want to take it down yet. I'm trying to get that twist right on the left side to kind of match the walk. This really bothers me here. So the less we get away from this, the better. <laughs> I think it's probably because the way the uh, path was uh, set up when I was doing it earlier. There's a talk room. All right, let's do link seating. And we'll do By the way, there's a way you don't have to see those ads. You can, of course, become a subscriber and support the channel and um, get yourself on a weekly subscriber goal that will count to some big chance cubes next week. It'll be great for our anniversary if we can fill that up. And if we fill that up and, and before we get to the charity thing, if we do have one, that's going to make it so much better if you can... Um, Smash that. But, like I said, if you want to see the charity stuff and uh, fundraiser and subscriber goal and all that stuff, you got to be more proactive and let me know. I don't want to run a, a, a charity fundraiser or nothing get it or gets donated because that looks... Very embarrassing to Twitch and very embarrassing to me. All right. Um, I can't do that until I get that done. 
Uh, this will be an April talk. So, we got that set up. Kind of. Is there room for me to, um... Okay, there is. We'll have that one. It's part of the talk talk. This will be at full 20 when we're loading those up. As far as monitors, officially, we're just going to put, you know, um, I'll put a monitor right there. Unfortunately, I need to see what's top and what's bottom. That looks like a pretty good spot to mount that. Does need to have a little bit of a twist this way. Perfect. Alright, nothing because we don't have anything yet. So that's perfect. Um... Let's do a... Monitor and stand here. I don't want to do anything on the uh, glass. Just because uh, glass is kind of hard to replace. I only know that because I have a picture frame. Big, big picture window I've got to replace at some point this summer. Alright, so we got that. I like to do it around that concrete. That way it's just like... It's not like bothering them, but it's not bothering them. All right, that looks darn good there. Monitor speakers, the uh, seminar chat room set up. 
Uh, the only thing we've got to do is two things. Let's uh, double check the nu the numbers here. Thirty six, three thirty nine, and I needed. Oh yeah, we're we're good. We're good. I'm not sure if they need anything more. Of course, they'll probably be able to tell us once they get in. Um, very little grass, more on a form of soil. Um, I do want to change this up. So, not too, too shabby. And at four cents, I like it. All right, now, uh, as far as who takes care of this habitat. Boy, this is gonna be a rough decision. Based on its location within the zoo, I would say this would be going for the um, beaver exhibit or the beaver team. So let's go in here. You know what's so funny is because when uh, people, when we start the clock back up, people were like, whoa, this is their habitat just came out of nowhere. Trees, he came out of nowhere. There was a pop-up dock and all this. Within like, pfft. Pretty cool. Um, let's see. I want to go to the staff work zone. Edit the work zone for beaver. And then beaver is purple, right? Okay. The other thing is we're not, we haven't done, I, really, I would have to really rework the uh, tour group. The tour group hasn't had um, the Eurasia, their Eurasian links and the the giant pandas. There might have been another one they haven't had. All right, so Beaver District is done with that one. I also want to add it to the main zoo. Okay, two zones, pretty good. Um, and we did say in our notes. Oh, I've ever noted up. I, I did. I must have closed it out by accident. Where was the... Life of expectancy, 20 years. Okay. So now... We got some young babies here. I definitely could see us doing Zhao Ping or Zhao Ying. The only thing is, 
I've got to check before I set that up. What is the... Okay, they will take babies or they will reproduce up to 20 years. Okay. And six years. Okay, six to 20. I'm going to go ahead and lock in Xiao Ying. I want to get three more. So we're going to wait uh, 12 minutes. And uh, that would put us about... Well, almost close to the top of the hour. So let's uh, just let the clock run and uh, hopefully we can get a good, a good, um, good couple of pulls here in a little bit. Uh-oh. Oh, you know what? I bet who's running? Is this one of those uh, ones that I kicked because of weird names? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't have a if you don't have a proper name, it's just like Twitch. I'm gonna kick you. <laughs> I mean, but you know what's so funny? Is they don't even know who's doing it. Someone popped my balloon. Gee, I wonder who it was. Just some random freak. <laughs> oh, oh. Let's see if I can do these all with them, them moving. If it wasn't for that Reddit post that I found, um, I don't can't, I can't remember what it was. Uh, diseased animal for who? Oh, yeah, better go check on that. Uh, bears, what's going on with you guys? Stress? Oh, trying to hide. You okay, bud? Uh, the quarantine has passed. Give me just a sec.
That's on the Przoskis, aren't they? I hope you got fed. And give your undivided attention to our SimWorld Zoo's educational speaker. Have a great time learning about our diversity of animals of SimWorld Zoos. Also, do not forget to give us a review, including the pop-up chats and educational tours on the SimWorld Zoo smartphone app. Find our Sim World Zoo I don't have a SimWorld Zoo smartphone app. I just have to believe there is one. Getting things approved through the uh, App Store and Android would be a... Did you just have a baby? Or is this a new one? Oh, you just had him. I remember you were expecting. Congratulations. Hey, be nice to your kid. By the way, your your roommates are coming back. Uh, hold on. It's a little too cool to go swimming right now, rhinos. I do know that it's going to start getting warmer um, over the next 90 days. Uh, the forecast looks great for end of March and early uh, April, but it's also that time of the year where severe weather will start happening. So, Luckily, we just had a severe weather awareness week uh, exercises last week on the air. Uh, in fact, we had snow over the weekend, if that tells you anything. Flores, flores, no accumulation, though. Uh-oh, I see balloon. No, never mind. No, it looked like I had a balloon. It was one of those hats. Well, you lost your balloon, you're about to lose your bladder. And you're walking the opposite way of a restroom. I am so mean. Oh, I can't not to her. She's an elderly. Uh oh. I don't know. I don't think this ha is anything yet. We left this open for something. We just never decided to fill it yet. We could use it for something. I just don't know what. It doesn't have to be maintained anything. Are you guys fighting? Gender ratio. Oh, yeah. Um... Is there anybody else that's a gender ratio issue here? I 
I don't see anybody. Arben's hungry. I need to, uh... I know you were just fed. Well, not really you, but you're... Your stable mates. I'm glad there's a keeper there in house. Um, 8.2. Um, I'm going to just out of safety. I'm going to box you up. Send you on, okay? Okay. Correct gender setup and all that. All right. I think everything is already up and up. Oh, let me get you uh, out of your quarantine over to the lemur home. Uh-oh. Ideal temperature coming up, coming up. Hold on. In fact, uh, have we been doing this long enough for me to check the panda market? I think we have. Try to keep the clock going, per se. Okay, let's see. Ring tail lemur would go there. Okay. And as far as the badgers... Uh, you're too hot, huh? Okay. What is your, uh, what, what is the range? You guys are 19 to 100. Okay, I'll bring you guys down to 50, oh, 6, 56, something like I did with the pandas. So let me do a couple of uh, air conditioners. Apparently got a sprinkler, but that's not what you want. All right, let's go down to uh, air. Hopefully the uh, neighboring animal doesn't mind 56 degrees because they're going to have to. Alright guys. Cool and weather coming. And by the way, you don't really have to work on this habitat. If it's broken, it's broken. It's just there as a placeholder for something later down the road. By the way, speaking of our memorial. I don't want to do it today. Nope. Sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> Oh, I could be so mean sometimes. Oh. Maybe I haven't seen you guys run like that. Ooh, outsider. Speaking of outsider, here. I'll first call mechanic to have the base checked out. Uh, 
Um, yeah, Shaban, I'm going to um, have you visit the animal storage. You done great for the family, but you gotta pack it up. All right, let's go look at the the uh, panda market. Um, man, there's not really that many that are good. He's not bad. So we got three that are expired here in about two minutes. The other one I could I would lock in right now would be this one because of size and fertility. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in. So right now, I've got one, one kind of like couple, but I think I need to get another, a couple. So as far as everybody that's in here, other than the pandas, you are heading out. Best of luck wherever you go. Alright. I'm going to let the clock run for about two and a half minutes. It'll give me a little bit of time to uh, not pop any balloons. I'm going to go check on the rhinos here. All right, nice job, Sabella. Um, do you guys have? Do you guys want air conditioning? Let me look here. Fifty five to one oh four. I mean, your guys are okay. You know what? I'll turn you guys on. How about that? I'll make it nice. Go about 72. That's kind of like what humans like. Talk about perfect sleeping weather now, buddy. You will want to not wake up for a while. That's going to feel good. And by the way, I'll do the same thing on this side. I can slip underneath. All right, those two are alive. Let's see how things are down this way. Okay, clock on the desk says well, I could probably look at the market again. Let's see, the giant pandas. Okay, we got a fresh batch. Ooh. 
You're good. Now I can need another female. Um, if I can find a female that's under 10 years old, that'd be good. So we'll have to see if we can find something. So the next uh, match opportunity. Uh, for emails come in. Uh, let's see, we got one in two minutes. Let's put that out. Not this way for a bit. See how the sloths are doing. If anybody's going there, at least you guys are checking it. By the way, the console uh, for Planet Zoo is out, but there's no news on as far as like an opportunity of a. Ooh, we must have a new baby or something grow up. Um. For us to uh, learn about another animal set coming. Because you know what we want was an Avery. Go have a. Go get some meat, food. And then if you have money left, you can go but nothing get blowns. Okay, so everything's good. No really disappointment. Yeah, I might be busy, but guess what? I have enough vending machines for everybody. I put two down, or three down, in some circumstances for a reason. Who wants to see alert on? What's the matter, buddy? Stress? Um... Nothing I can really do. You're in one way black glass. You're just gonna have to just chill, okay? I can't really. Oh, also, you're an elderly. Let me, um. Send you on out. So, you guys know what to do in the chat for this, right? Alright, see you around, Jen. Spend the rest of your life in freedom, not up in a, in a cage. And I think we have another duel. No, we only have one. Speaking of uh, bear and bear theme. Um, Formosan black bear. Let me see if I can find some real quickly. Let's see, we got a female, I need a male. Quickly. How old do you guys get? 31, okay. Let me compare you with, uh, Ooh, no. 
We'll give it a chance. All right, so let's do Junji. Junji. Let's get you into quarantine right now. I'll get you in before I get the pandas in. Henrietta's already here again? Wow. Hang on, I'll give you, I'll, I'll give my undivided attention to you, Henrietta. Come on. There you go. Okay. All right, Henrietta, where are you heading today? Ha, huh, just, just as I just put something in for Formosan. But you're not going there yet. Um, as far as that one, Lonely, the only female there, uh, there is a baby coming, so that's good. In fact, what I could do, if it's a male, well, that's, that seems odd, but I wouldn't do it, but I would do it. All right, let's see where you at. Let's see, you're gonna go, let's see. Durov, I just was over there. He got up because I think he, he didn't like the heat or the, the coolness, but he's doing all right. Oh, go charge the educator. Go on, go charge the educator. Yup. Krasovsky to ya, huh? Uh, um. Maybe breeding? Maybe not. Hard to tell. Everything's fine. Yep. Yep. Who are you gonna go see? Wati? One of the kids? All good. Uh -huh. And then the Mackie Cues. Yari. Well, the birds, the bees, do we need to talk anymore? I mean, yeah. You'll probably throw me a uh, three star on that or maybe four star because of that. Okay. Uh, don't worry about Habitat 48. There's nothing in there. Seriously, there's nothing in 48. In fact... Fact... I won't freak out. Because, there we go. It may not look pleasing in that area, but if something would have to come there, we'd have room for it. Okay. I do need to take our break, but before I do that, and I turn Henry out loose here. Let's go for one more panda. Um, I needed a female. That one's not bad. Hold on, let me see who I have yet. Yeah, that one would work. Let's go book him quickly before we run out of time. No. It was, uh, yeah, it was this one. 
Okay, let's send everybody. All the animals um, of the pandas. Try to get myself over the quarantine area so I can have them checked out. Get to know each other, everybody. All right, let's do a save. As we haven't saved at all tonight since we got started. All right. Let's all get out of our chairs, grab a drink, grab a snack, stretch your legs, and of course, use the restroom. There's more. Stick around. If you are enjoying SimWorld's content and community and want to show your friends the support, you need to come check out the all-new SimWorld Marketplace. Whether that would be for SimWorld in general, to Minecraft Adventures, or any of our fictional businesses of SimWorld Farms to SimWorld Zoos or perhaps the SimWorld Auto Service Center, drop down the command SW Merch in the Twitch channel live chat now to get started shopping. Do not forget to take photos and share back with us on our neighborhood or metaverse as you just might make the next commercial. Once again, that is SW Merch as the command. Did you know that there is an opportunity to support SimWorld and get rewarded with benefits? Yes, we are talking about the SimWorld Insider Program. We currently have five tier levels from the inexpensive to the high ticket prices with various levels of rewards. Two of our lower tiers even have a one week one time try it before you buy it opportunity if you are interested. To learn more about the benefits and pricing, drop the command Insider in the Twitch channel live chat right now. We really love our SimWorld Insiders. Yes, Nathaniel, we certainly do.
If you are loving today's game content on SimWorld Game Vision, please consider checking out our upcoming broadcast schedule. SimWorld Live with your games guru will be right back in 10 seconds. This telecast of Sim World Live that you are watching from on Sim World Game Vision is copyrighted for the private viewing of our simmers and with limited use rights access for Twitch Interactive Incorporated. Any other use of this telecast including video, audio, pictures, or depictions of the telecast without the written consent of Nathaniel Jackson Productions Double LC is prohibited. Now, <clears throat> coming to you once again as we return to programming with Sim World Live from the David Kent Romba Studio at the Sim World Game Vision Broadcast Center in Topeka, Kansas. Here now is your games guru, Nathaniel Jackson. All right, welcome back in, Simmers. It's uh, good to be with you again, and uh, we are going to get back into working on Simple Zoo with uh, hopefully getting all the pandas to work, each other, work with each other and uh, like their new habitat. If not, we'll be able to uh, make some adjustments on that. I do, of course, want to remind you, I know the big elephant's in the house. We've been talking about it uh, for the last couple days, even last week. Um, but we do want to remind you, if you are here in the United States, Daylight Savings Time does go into effect tonight. So uh, we are getting off the air an hour early uh, for those folks that need to go around and play that clock game uh luckily for us here at the studio we've already uh taken care of that so some of the clocks here at the studio are 9 30 uh obs and uh twitch is saying it's 8 30 but you get the idea of what it's supposed to be so change your clocks if you're lucky to be one of those states uh indiana arizona uh that don't have to deal with that you can uh just laugh with all the rest of us but uh, hopefully someday, someday, a uh, House of Representatives a, a, or the Senate in the United States Congress will actually do something about this. Because we have this problem. We grovel about it twice a year, every year for, I think, the last 25 years. And it's getting old. It's just getting darn old. So... I wish we could just uh, switch it tomorrow and then forever leave it on daylight savings time for, you know, for eternity. That's what we would like to see. I mean, if you really want to know how it feels, ask those in Indiana or those in, um, in Arizona. But that's the only way we can um, honestly get around it and uh, move on with that. So... All right, uh, let's go ahead and get back into all things several zoos. And um, let's make a couple notes on things that I'll touch on later. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and get back into it. Sound coming up, coming up, coming up. Where are you at? There you are. Okay. Let's 
All right, so we got the pandas ordered. Uh, Tristo. Can we not? I don't think we can release him. We try to rehome him and we can't. I don't think, if I remember. Tristel, let's see here. Uh, I could quick trade him. I know that seems wrong, but let's do it. Let another uh, zoo handle it. So, best of luck, Tristel. Uh, looks like Henry had left. Without even seeing the animal, she just like, eh, you know what? I trust Nathaniel. He's doing a good job. Bye. All right. Uh, ooh, a lot of fighting. Let's see here. Junji, coming your way in just a second. Let's go to the Caymans here. Uh, I know what's going on with the Caymans. I mean, have you seen how many we got? I mean, have you seen how many we got? Here, let me get all the screens off. I mean, don't look, I mean, don't look at the Flamingos. Flamingos are okay, but they're not as bad as these. I mean... 45. You think there's too many? I think so. I think so. I think I would like to uh, thin the herd. Too bad I can't... Um, Start the herd over small lore. I don't even know. I mean, look how much I'm spending on money, on the food. $15,000. That hurts my wallet. I mean, my wallet, my butt is just like crying. I don't blame you. Sheesh. $15,000 on food. That's just, I mean, in fact, in fact, let me do math. For a quarter pounder with cheese at McDonald's, that's about, let's say, I'll just average at $450. $15,000 for $160. Divided by, get this, there's more than enough quarter pounders to last me more than my lifetime. I would be able to share. That is 3,368 quarter pounders with cheese. I don't think there's enough bread. I don't think there's enough meat. I don't think there's enough ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise around this planet to even have that. Peter would be going nuts if I did that. McDonald's would be like, ooh, we are the world's best chain now. All right. Um, honestly, there's so many. I, I, I've just got to go down to the S's on this.
Juvies, I can't do anything with. <sighs> Fortunately, a lot of more juvies. Okay, quick trade, that's 13 out of 45. Bye guys, kids only is left uh, behind. Uh, when he's all mature, I wonder if there is a way, I know there is. I wonder if I could do birth control to stop them from having, you know, reproduction. Um... Contraceptives would stop it. Well, I hate to be the, the mean person here, but... You're the last of uh, the generation that comes through our zoo. When you guys, uh... Get your elderly stage? Yeah, you know... We'll, we'll reconsider things, but right now, no reproduction. I know you're all young. You're like, you know, school kids and such, but the teenage years will be coming. And, uh, yeah. Now, Genji, let's get you out to your new home first. You're next. Let's go to your home. By the way, we've totally missed on having an educational pop-up talk because we didn't have animals in time. But I think what I'll do, I'll set this up for July. I think there's room that we can do it in time. Let me see how many are in July again. I think I only counted one. Okay, one in July, that's the Panda, so yeah, that would work perfectly. Do I have anybody in September? No. Okay. Yeah, July will be for uh it will be fine. I think we'll have the animals over here by then. 
As soon as Judgey leaves, we can um, pull the others out. There they go. All right. Now you three or four. There should be. Male, male, female. There should be another male, female there. Oh, hold on. We're not. No. We have to wait. Zhao Ying is a little uh, having issues. We'll wait. We can wait. Well, maybe you'll get another balloon on your way home. Alright, everyone ready to go? I should see four on the list. Okay. And we have just enough time to make this happen. Just enough nick of time to get an audience together. All right, four payados. Let's go. Bring him in. Once they get those in, then we'll uh, unlock it. Someone from the beaver team or that can control the whole zoo needs to move like they never moved before. I don't think they're going to get here in time for the uh, pop-up talk. And I'm not going to move it to another month. All I need is one panda to show up for us to have the talk. Nope. Too late now. Thank you for coming to our home of Sim World Zoos today. We want to get your attention and reminding you that we have a special pop-up educational chat about the animal you are visiting coming up. Please make. Uh, yeah, next year. It's too late now. Sim World Zoos educational speaker. Have a great time learning about our diversity of animals of Sim World Zoos. Also, do not forget to give us a review, including the pop-up. All right, before I do anything with announcing you guys are here. Nutrition, uh, it's fine. Habitat's fine. Um, speaking of 631, as we always do on that. And then I need the food quality to be grade three. And then tell me... All right, less soil, way too much soil. Okay, so you want some short grass. Okay. I can certainly make that happen. We kind of get out of here in a visible space. Let's see, terrain, short grass. 
Intensity. Keep it going because the soil's still too much. Still in the red. Okay, everybody good? Everyone's good. Plants, we're all good? They should be, they're all your natives. Okay. Alright, so, the only thing I need to do with you guys, even though it's too late to do a pop-up talk, let's get everything turned on. Ooh. Um, well, put it about there and then pretty much just blast it. Even if there is no talk, at least I'll have that. Okay, so those two are covered. You missed out on a perfect opportunity. And it's not the way to year 44. Or, let me put you back in April. Best thing, I think. I don't remember seeing a talk in April. Quala bears, but. That's for the other district, that way. Um... Okay, so that's good. Giant Panda... Turn on the speaker, blast it out, full range. Uh, you know what? I just saw something. I don't know. Have I ever seen this? Sneaky. See how they get along. Zoo's open for them. Just too bad we're not gonna have an educational talk. Partially the market's fault. Thank you for coming to our homeless in the world zoos today. 
We want to get your attention in reminding you that we have a special pop-up educational chat about the animal you're visiting coming up. Please make sure you get a good seat, silence your phones, and give your undivided attention to all four in. educational speaker. Have a great time learning about our diversity of animals of SimWorld zoos. Nope. Also do There's one that's missing. Review, there it comes. Chats and educational tours on the SimWorld Zoo smartphone app. Find our SimWorld Zoo smartphone app on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store today. Let's see, anybody I need a kick? Nope, I left, unfortunately. Thank you for coming to our home of Sim World Zoos today. We want to get your attention in reminding you that we have a special pop-up educational chat about the animal you're visiting coming up. Please make sure you get a good seat, silence your phone, and give your undivided attention to our Sim World Zoos education. Yeah, security, you guys are doing good. Also do not forget to give us a review, including the pop-up chats and educational tours on the Sim World Zoo smartphone app. Find our Sim World Zoo smartphone app on the Google Play Store. Or the oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm so sorry. Pop. Pop. Um. Uh, I'm so sorry. You're going to have to go bye bye. Thank you for coming to our home of Sim World Zoo. Bye bye. We want to get your attention and remind you that we have a special pop-up educational chat about the animal you're visiting. Our zoo director just built that wonderful habitat. You can't see the animals. Get out of our zoo. Zoo's educational speaker. Have a great time learning about our diversity of animals of Sim World Zoos. Also, do not forget to give us a review, including the pop-up chats. Find our Sim World Zoo smartphone app on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store today. If you can't see him, then you're blind. Look how cute he is. In fact, I'm going to get myself off camera because I know I'm probably blocking away. Oh. Don't you just want to run up and give him a big hug? Come on. And he's got to be loving that air conditioning. Yeah. He's loving that air conditioning. I would be too if it was uh, 99 degrees out. See ya! I'll check with you guys later. Alright, let's go see what's going on around the zoo. Okay. Uh, Ching Fong, you're... Stressed out. Now, I'm sorry about that. There's nothing I really could do. You got black. You got one way glass. So, yeah. You got a cave. I can't recommend anything else. Just, I'm sorry. Um. The only thing I could rec. The only thing I could do. Would be to, um, send you real, quick, real quickly into quarantine. Let me go do that. I'll send you into quarantine. That might help you out for a little bit. Okay? They could probably give you a little shot, you know, to kind of just relax you, make you sleep for a little bit. I'll help out. All right. Brzezowski horses. Hungry. All right. 
No, let's see, uh, let's see who's all fighting and whatnot. We had another, uh, sloth baby. Hey, at least people are coming down in here and taking a look. So you got a baby over, or you got a, one there, you got one there. You got one there. And you got one there. We got four in the house. Not too, too shabby. All right, let's see, porcupine. Oh my gosh, there's a red fox with my name. How did that work out? I gotta go meet myself. Why, hi there. How you doing? Um, nice to meet you. I'm your human self. Looks like you're having a, an awesome time. Now, you know, insiders and subscribers, you know, when we were talking about The Sims 4 and being reincarnated and all that with our uh, neighborhood game night last night, I wasn't really thinking of coming back as a fox. Even though the fans probably want more silver in a fox. You know, I mean, you know, I could just, just saying. Well, I look pretty darn good. I got to keep myself around, though. If anyone gets rid of me, there is payment to be had. I get to stay. I'm, I'm, I'm a young adult. I'm not, I'm not even like a, a year old. Okay, so let's see what else we got. Next door, the raccoons are fighting. And there's because... Well, let's see. There's issues with the skunks, too. Um... Guys, you know what to do in the chat. We've done this before. Just have to say goodbye. Thank you for your service to our zoo. I remember you were the uh, child of the albino skunk that we had years ago. When we first had the uh, skunks. Um... Everything else is fine. Oh, well, actually. Um, I'm going to put you on, a tr on the uh, trading block. And I'm going to get another skunk. Let's see, I need a mail. Hmm, good fertility. Well, I'm not gonna wait around. Guess what? You get to get come in. Um, hold on. Let me back up as far as I get to uh, get to quarantine. There we go. Okay, so we got the striped skunk deal dealt with. 
Uh, now, as far as the coons side of thing. A lot of men. Only men. Oh, wait. No, there's one female. Uh, Jeanette is here. That's the only female. Well, I would say, let's thin out the herd. Okay. Um, So one male is about all I can get rid of, honestly. Because Jason... No, oh, I don't want to get rid of Jason. Jason's fine. Um, Actually, no. Let me get rid of Jason. Jason's of age where I can get rid of him. Uh, Yates... He could be get rid of. Waldo. And Jarek. They can go. As far as the kids. It's funny we got two Jareks. Um... No, we got three Jerks. <laughs> Talk about, uh. Oh, yeah. Alright, you all. Actually, hold on. Because I'll, I'll do all the quick trade stuff at the end of the night. We're almost there. Um. No, no. This jerk stays. All right, everybody, Trade Center, except for the young ones. Oh, hold on. There we go. Jerk and Jeanette. Okay. All right. Much better improvement. Um, I think we got everybody taken care of. Yeah. Hang in there, buddy. Helps out of the way. All right. So far, so good.
84%. What's the matter with it? Ooh, somebody didn't plan smart. Okay, we'll get that in just a second. Uh, what about nutrition? Oh, yeah. I'll get the hard shelter right now. I'll go work on it. Thanks for bringing it to my attention. Good luck. Anybody in there right now? No. Okay. No left of the old bed. Um, through this, guys. I don't think that's too much in the way. All right, blueprint. I need the double deep bed. Move that. As long as there's room. Yeah, there's room. Ooh, uh, this might work. I don't know if this double deep had a uh, overhead one or not. Necessarily. Let's 
So I could stay. How's it going for you now? Much better? Except for the uh, food? Okay. How you guys doing? Oh, uh, the drink water, the water quality. Um, this is probably dirty, isn't it? Yeah. Those darn capybaras are defecating in there. Um, the only thing I could do, honestly. The only thing I can think of doing to make this work I'd have to put a water treatment facility somewhere, but the thing is, there's just not enough room. I can stick it here, but this is where we're going to do our next bear habitat. Well, I could put it over here because there's nothing we're going to be able to put over here. Did we do the treatments? Every year, okay. 
problem is... The only way for this to work, fortunately... This is not going to be the easiest task. This is the problem with uh, having live water. Thinking the only way we could do it is bringing in defense a little bit, setting it up there. Thank you. 
I don't need that far out. That's pretty good. Carefully. Still solid habitat, right? Okay. Okay, it's in. Does it say water, show water body, uh, water, body of water now? Yep, it does. Okay, so now. Thank you for coming to our home of Sin World Zeus today. We want to get your attention and remind you that we have a special pop-up educational chat about the animal you are visiting coming up. Please make sure you get a good seat, silence your phones, and give your undivided attention to our Sin World Zeus educational speaker. Have a great time learning about our diversity of animals of Sin World Zeus. Also, do not forget to give us a review, including the pop-up chats and educational tours on the Sim World Zoo smartphone app. Find our Sim World Zoo smartphone app on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store today. All right, flamingos, head your way. Okay, food to be delivered soon. And you should be ready to come out.
Thank you for coming to our home of Sin World Zeus today. We want to get your attention. Mm -hmm. Overall, not too, too shabby. Also, do not forget to give us a review, including the pop up chats and educational tours on the Sim World Zoo smartphone app. Find our Sim World Zoo smartphone app on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Ooh, I'm back. <laughs> I couldn't stay away that long. So now there's two of me in the zoo. The human self, the guru self, and uh, the fox self. So, how much money do you got? A lot more than you had last time? Ooh, not much. Um, you must have stopped at the equator on the way in. But I can't uh, supplement your money a little bit more. See if I could add money in. No, can't. Well, you'll figure it out. All right. Can you believe it? I told you again, my C cushion. This one is the I thought it was the better one, but apparently it's not. All right. Watch this for just a second while I work on this. All right, let's see if this fit. It does a little better for me. Might last till break. If I start feeling pretty rough, I'll have to 
call it early, but I, I would hope not. Okay. Terry is about to meet. Well, Steve and Terry can't, uh, can't stop you from making love. All right, ideal temperatures. Uh, do we have things all around? I think we do. All right, so you want me to, uh, get you in? Oh, well, okay. Pretty darn good. All right, as far as you, um, you're next to the water. I'm not gonna even bother trying to fix you. You're in the water. Henrietta's not here yet. Incorrect sex ratio with the wildebeests. Let's go there. Okay. Well, yeah, there's... Three will be set are expecting. And, uh, I think a bike is the one that I'm gonna let go home. I'm gonna let him leave. Okay. By the way, this drives me a little bit nuts. I say it probably every other time. I didn't say every time, I said every other. Uh, well, not like that. Sorry, folks. Same thing. I can't get rid of it. Anyhow, how's Steve and Terry doing?
Gary's doing good. Stop right there, Steve. Doing all right? By the way, age-wise, how are you guys as far as... You are the oldest of our whole zoo. And we've been here for 45 years. What is your time? Your time's coming. 72 years. So you guys got another 12 years on you. 12 years. That's is, this is going to be a sad day when Terry and Steve, well, you know, officially hit for the clouds for the first, you know. It'd be different if there was the kids were here and there were Betty and Robert. Yep, someone did pop your balloon. Speaking of donation bins, I've been looking at that in a while. I know we did some nerdy stuff last episode. I'm not going to go too crazy. I'm just going to see kind of how things are setting up. You know what? I had a great idea. Facilities, blueprints, blueprints. I want to do What I'm going to do for now Facility broken down. What? The vending machines? Well, you know Leave it alone. Mechanics will get to it when I you of course get to it Um
Let's do, um... No. It's already open. I don't want to do that one. Um. Do you have a wide conservation message ones? So no, but but what I will do is I'll persuade people to go over to check out the giant pandas. Just had the giant panda up. Where are you? Um. Let's see, what else do we have that I can put up? What else do we have that we can put up? Get out of here, let me think. Anybody going over there to the, uh, let me put those up over here, the Eurasian links. Oh. Double posting, or you know, double video board of the pandas. I like to include the new ones when we can get them, especially if they haven't been seen. Uh, your Asian links, if I can find you guys. Come 
We could use this maybe as our advertising spot. I can think of doing that. You know, put monitors up, talking about the various new ones that are out. could we put up how's the koalas doing do they do they need some blowing? Alright. Okay. I'm trying to think of anything this way. Wombats. Um. I would do the equator grill. How, I mean, what is the traffic like into it? Is it like too full? Ooh, they have my answer already. Uh -huh. Hi there, ma'am. I'm just uh, trying to get an idea of what's going on here. 75. And how many people are using it? Two. Let's see, I'm going to count the tables that are empty. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. Well, I think what I could do. I could do a TV that goes that way for the for the uh Equator grill, and then I need something that would be on the opposite side that would go this direction. What could we send people to? What do I want people to learn?
Let me put the gorillas on. Gorilla and Equator Grill. We got another TV here. So let's do facilities. TV monitor. So how I'll do this is this side will be the I believe Dustin redid this one. If not, it will be Susan Cole. It's been a while. I haven't played this. But you will uh, showcase our equator grill. Okay. I'll have to see which video is running on it. I may have to have Dustin. I think I had Dustin re, uh, retake that. Frodo, is, is that true? Did we have Dustin retape this? After uh, Susan left back in October? I, I want to say yes. Or, uh,. And then let's do the gorillas here. Okay, let's see how well this does. It's kind of like our advertisements. And maybe just music. I think this is just music. So. All right, Miss Lang, you are back in town. For a third time this broadcast. You're going to go see our new lemur that just moved into town. Which, with the rain, they're all in here. Uh, crowding. The birds and the bees. No, I don't know how else I can say it. I think it's fine. If I wanted to expand you guys, I could. Not quite.
too sure how we do it. How many did we have, animal-wise? Three, four, six, okay. Well, for six, two, six, nine, one. You got more than that, so no complaints. I'm not gonna, I'm not even bothered doing that. As far as the grill is, I just started advertising them, Henrietta, so. You're going to go see this fella. Well, I'm going to get staff a yell running on that now. Space wise. I think it's fine. <sighs> Black bears, you're going to go see Chin. You were stressed out earlier. How are you doing now? Same thing. But, you're not really stressed out, you're just crowded. You do have three men and one female. Now, are you the female or are you the male? You're the female. Well, if you would like me to. Well, we'll see how things are. I'll get uh, food for Judge Ejo. Okay. Yep. All in the up and up on that one. Yep. Yep. How about the flamingos? You be there? She looks good. Yeah, she's doing good. Welfare is down, but that'd be probably because mechanics are busy and something's going on with the water quality. Okay. Need not worry.
how are things with you now that we kind of done our district check? You kind of reset things. How can it be so far away? You work in the alligator district. <sighs> How about you? <laughs> See, you're happy. You know, less, I mean, you're a little. Yeah. I wonder. Can't do it with an umbrella, but pop goes a weasel. That balloon is gone. <laughs> Three stars at most. Ooh. Hey, Przanski horses can be. There's like some delicious food delivered. And also, there is a pop up check coming. I'm gonna go find it. I'm gonna go pretend it. It's like coming up, isn't it? July? Oh, I already had it. I'm our. Missed out on that. I want to see how people are liking it. <laughs> oh, there. So someone did like it. Okay. And how's our folks doing inside here? A lot of dung. Needs to be, uh... Are you okay, buddy? Um... I really think a vet needs to be coming by, too. I don't like the way he looks. I don't like the way he looks. Zoo smartphone app. Find our Sim World Zoo smartphone app on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store today. Any issues for what's his name? Okay. How's everything going as far as work and all that with the new changes? Chaz? Well, you're doing the best you can. Uh, what district are you playing or working? Oh, you're a master. Meaning he's doing everybody. No, wait, no, he's Beaver. Okay. I don't remember who in the staff work zone is doing main. Oh, the uh, vendors. They can go anywhere. Okay. Um. Are you sure that he's fine? 
Oh, he got up. Okay. Good. Yep, everything's good. Is this good? Okay, we can do one of two things. Uh, break's coming up here in about 15 minutes. We can either do that to go for another. Uh, oh. Another couple hours till uh, daybreak, or we can wrap up early. What do you guys want to do? You want to see more? I mean, not pretty much, really much going on. Um, or just maintaining the zoo and making improvements as we see it. Boy, I hate to be your job, buddy. All these are breaking down. But you're working on them. That's all that matters. So far, so good. Oh, because of the space. Also, do not forget to give us a review, including the pop up chats and educational tours on the Sim World Zoo smartphone app. Find our Sim World Zoo smartphone app on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store today. Thank you. Yeah. 
We want to get your attention and remind you that we have a special public educational chat about the animal you are visiting coming up. Please make sure you get a good seat. Silence out. Norse and World Zoo's educational speaker. Have a great time learning about our diversity of animals of some world zoos. Also, do not forget to give us a review, including the pop-up chat and educational tours on the Sim World Zoo. <laughs> Put your quills back down, boy. You're fine. Start right again. <laughs> yep, sorry, it's cold. And rainy. So, kind of more feels like probably, instead of 72, it probably feels more like uh, 60, uh, 65 uh, 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 uh. you think you can run by without me doing this You're just lying. I am so loving that new trick that I found on Reddit. Nice job, you're right on it. You're right behind me. Somewhere in this mess is the inspector. Henrietta Lang, where are you? There you are. Where are you off to now, Miss Lang? Yeah, the space thing. What do you think? 
How would you expand it if you if you were here, Pedretta? In control. Would you widen it? Even though there's plenty of space for them? No? You know? Okay. Head for the lemurs. Probably good clean pass. The only thing I would probably put it down to a four is a uh, rating on the um, space. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, not even four or three. Ooh, I'm getting bad. Okay. Well, um. Okay. Well, I can do a couple things. Let's take a break now. Well, let's get it. Well, let's see. It's eleven twenty-two. Um, Central. Well, I mean, 11.22 Eastern, actually, but at the new time. Um, we work on us. What's our next animal set in seven? The grizzly bear, right? Yeah, the, gr the grizzly bear is what we have coming up in week seven. So, um, hey, Frodo, are we close to the four and a half hour mark? I think we are getting there. By the time we'd wrap. Okay. Um, I've debated a couple things. We can do a break and then work on the lemurs. Or add our work with the lemurs with the grizzly bears. That would be coming up in uh, week seven. I'm thinking...
There is room for us to expand this. And I might be able to add the walkway longer and get it around again. And then add a couple extra viewing domes. Okay, here's what I'll do. I, I have a better idea. Let's break. And then we'll uh, get into the uh, labors. And then that way we could kind of see what we can get ourselves into. And then who knows? I mean, she's off to go check out the flamingos. Uh, I'm just disappointed that we got three stars. Should have been my fault. I don't think we could do anything with the gorillas and black bears. Black bears, we have a little room to expand, but they're big enough. Lemurs, I think. I mean, okay, let me, let's talk about the lemurs. The lemurs... One, the reason you're not feeling out hot, it's not just space, but also, you know, you need to have the birds and the bees. Um, is there another ring-tailed... Lamer in house. I know that there's interspatial uh, breeding that can happen. Let me go down here real quickly before I make a decision what I'm doing. Um, yeah, we got two ring tail. The other one I would be, that would be crying would be, uh, the red ruffed because there's no red ruffed. But for six... Okay. Hold on a second. It's not space. It's height. Okay. Um. Two hundred thirteen square foot versus four hundred nine. So, you're wanting more climbable area. Okay. All right, let's do this. Let's take the break. I think I can fix the levers without having to expand the size of the place. As far as the black bears, I really don't think If they're saying they're stressed out, let me see where one of the animals are. Well, for one, there's two cubs. So she just gave birth. It's also because of climbing. Okay. Climbing on the Formosa black bears, the lemurs. What about the lowlands that she just went to? Is it them too that need climbing? Okay. There's apparently not enough climbing. Is this not big enough for them? 
Okay. So, let's focus on climbing for all three animals when we come back for break. I think we could do this. I don't think it'll be that too hard. We just got to be innovative. The question is, how can we make it that specific height? Stick around and we'll figure it out. If you are enjoying SimWorld's content and community and want to show your friends the support, you need to come check out the all-new SimWorld Marketplace, whether that would be for SimWorld in general, to Minecraft Adventures, or any of our fictional businesses of SimWorld Farms to SimWorld Zoos or perhaps the SimWorld Auto Service Center. Drop down the command SW Merch in the Twitch channel live chat now to get started shopping. Do not forget to take photos and share back with us on our neighborhood or metaverse as you just might make the next commercial. Once again, that is SW Merch as the command. Did you know that there is an opportunity to support SimWorld and get rewarded with benefits? Yes, we are talking about the SimWorld Insider Program. We currently have five tier levels from the inexpensive to the high ticket prices with various levels of rewards. Two of our lower tiers even have a one week one time try it before you buy it opportunity if you are interested. To learn more about the benefits and pricing, drop the command Insider in the Twitch channel live chat right now. We really love our SimWorld Insiders. Yes, Nathaniel, we certainly do.
If you are loving today's game content on SimWorld Game Vision, please consider checking out our upcoming broadcast schedule. SimWorld Live with your games gear will be right back in 10 seconds. This telecast of SimWorld Live that you are watching from on SimWorld Game Vision is copyrighted from the private viewing of our simmers and with limited use rights access for Twitch Interactive Incorporated. Any other use of this telecast including video, audio, pictures, or depictions of the telecast without the written consent of Nathaniel Jackson Productions LLC is prohibited. Now, coming to you once again as we return to programming with SimWorld Live from the David Kent Romba Studio at the SimWorld Game Vision Broadcast Center in Topeka, Kansas. Here now is your games guru, Nathaniel Jackson. All right, welcome back in, everybody. I'm just uh, checking a couple things here off camera. Um, making sure our clocks are good. So, depending on where you're looking at, uh, OBS said it's 1042. There's other clocks all around the house in the studio are 11.43, so, I mean, I don't know, I might get off 15 minutes early, which, that'd be nice, but I think for us to do the climbing requirements for those three, I don't think it'll be that hard. I think we'll probably get out of here in the next... Maybe 25, 30 minutes, and just like Frodo had said, you know, fixing that climbing space will help with those ratings. So, you are right on that. Um, but, anyway, like I said, not much more left to be done. And uh, pretty much all we're just doing is dragging our airtime out a little bit. And we don't really need to be doing that. Um, but... Let's go ahead, like I said, get back into it, fix those three, double check the animals that are in there to make sure they like their climbing altitude setup, and then um, we'll start wrapping things up. I think that would be the uh, best way to, the, the, or at least the best approach on it. So. All right, let's get back at it. And, so far, not a bad day. Thirty-six degrees in a studio, or not in a studio, but outside. Not too shabby. Tomorrow, I think we're going to be about sixty-five. The way I'm looking at it here. Hello, buddy. You know, friend here, by the way. We're hard to get some more intros. Um, now we have some new animals. I know you got your hands full. You just had con the console release, so. All right, let's get at it. We know about that, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, I don't know who you are, but you are needing to just turn around and leave. Security will ask you your back out, okay? Uh, I'll let you stay. You gotta have a name to be in. I mean... Bottom line, and a family-friendly name at that. 
Okay, so let's see here. As far as the foremost and bear. You guys need a climbing height. That is, uh, 775. This is 336. Okay. So. I'm going to go ahead and keep this here. We got some room I could chunk a tree in if I could figure out... Let's see, four bows and black bears. Let's go back to your Zoopedia notes. So I can get all of your right stuff. Asia, tropical, temperate, and Tega. Okay. The three T's. So. Continent will be Asia. Temperate, Tropical, Tega, and I need something I need all my climbables. That's not... Three eighty eight. You can't climb that, can you? So that's not tall enough. The tallest is that tree, but I can see why you can't climb it. Oak tree. I mean, it's a, it's oak trees are tall, but See, it says coverage. Now, question is... Right now, birds and bees. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. But... Done. All right. One down, two to go. All right, lemurs, you need a climbing surface just as well. Can you climb on that? You cannot climb on that. Let's find something that's just as comparable that we could take down. Okay, for the lemurs, and also it could be any lemur that we pull this up with. Uh, 
red. Or, or yeah, yeah, this will be fine. Okay. Let's see, Africa, tropical, okay. Tropical, let's take these two out here. And let me do Africa. Man, I wish I could put that, this tree. Tamarind, Tamarind. I don't want a weeping willow. Um. What if What if Red ring black white Trying to think what the closest one was. What if I did we keep here this watch this. Keep the tree. Okay. Keep the tree. But All right, can you, can we do a little snap snap? Come on. Here, I know. Habitat. Well, this is how it's going to be done. Does that look like it's on the ground? Yeah, I don't want it on the ground. All right, we're just going to make a big pillow that connects to that limb way up on the top. Assuming they can actually kind of go hang out on it.
Maybe we're all due. And I'm just guessing. Could you? This makes the uh, duplication process so much easier. I might make like a big platform way up there in the air if we can't use this tree. We're gonna have so much climbing room in this if I can connect it to that tree limb up there on the top. We're getting close, we're getting close. Another couple of logs will be up there. Make sure we keep these connected. I'll see if I could do something. I don't know. Okay, there is this about the top as we're going to make it. No, keep it where it was. I think that one's fine. Um, could I? See, I don't know if you can go up on the on the uh, thing here or not.
Laws of physics? No. I wonder if I could do another duplicate uh, or a group of those straight up. Of course, I just lost the workspace. Let's see, that's not what we're going for. Where is, uh, where are we? Oh, that's the, um, uh, no, that's not what we want. There's the sand cats, hospice. So we're going to be back over here. Carefully, slowly getting you back to our rear bar. Okay. I wonder, like I said, if I made a not a four peg, but like another two peg. I'm gonna take this tree down. If I could group this. Now I hope they don't jump, <laughs> jump and think they can break the barrier. They probably would. That's why I'm going to try to get it as away from the state I can. Um, Part of doing this from space kind of is hard. All right, I think that's a perfect uh, a perfect square. Hard to tell with that one. do yeah I see that I think what I could do stick it in the ground like the whole thing's mud underneath. That made it even. And then we'll do a habitat. Two, uh, let's do two meter by two meter. I think that might be big enough. And we don't know until I get it up on top.
have to rotate this. I'm afraid to know that these guys will use this as a skate artist technique. I mean, because it's not the hard to jump down that way or jump down this way. We don't know how intelligent the laborers are. But they're going to see this height thing as like a a test to see if it's going to work. Let's do you kind of like, um, like that. Kind of like something like that. A little something. I don't know. I don't know if this could work or not. I guess we're about to find out and see. Alright, that is a climbing. But again, like I said, that's also a big jumping off platform. So they'll be like, ah, yeah. And then I'll hear alarm bells. And I'm not even all the way over to the gorillas. So, this is what I'm going to click on you. Oh, that's a ball. Ironically. I'm going to click on you. Okay. Social, we get it. I don't even have to do anything. I, I just, yeah, it's already green. Good luck. It don't jump the barrier. Even though we know you will. But you can look, you can use it to look around at the rhinos, at the people that are coming in to see you, or the, the plateaus off in the distance. Yeah. All right, lowland gorillas. Let's go to you now. Yours wasn't this great. So. I'm thinking. Forty-six or no, four thirty-one. Let's see, Africa and tropical, just like I just did with the uh, lemurs. The only thing he got is structures. I guess what I could do.
Yeah, I thought that would have worked. It didn't. I don't think that's what you want. I think you're wanting some good time on. I don't have to make, make it as big as the uh, ones for the lemurs. Um. I don't think. Would this be big enough for you guys? Where's our buddy at down there? Now I did take your your shelter away, but I can rebuild it. Perfect. Okay, let me get you a um, a shelter. Um, in case it, like you know brains and such. Um, the only thing I can think of doing. Let me see my construction materials real quickly for like the uh, floor and the rough. Do we have anything that's like solid? Yeah, we got the Aust. Yeah, we, you know. We move this in. Hold on. Now, duplicate it. Yes. 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 And then one more. Then, I'm going to make something a little custom tonight. And I'll even make it climbable. How about that? So it'll be a shelter plus a bed, or a shelter plus a climbing structure, kind of a, like an all-in-one um, go-to thing. Fortunately, I've got to make things climbable. I don't know if construction material could be made climbable.
I don't think I can. Climbable. Climbable. Okay. So, let's do it like this. Do one more and I will be in the ground. Keep going. That's about there. Okay. Now, of course, I know we're defeating the laws of gravity and physics and such for a second, but it's going to look good. And then we'll put the uh, bedding material that we always do underneath all this. All right. Get it up in the air so I can get it close to that corner, just like I did the other one. There you go. Keep it coming up. You're almost there. Go back. Go back. To the right. Ah. Come towards me. There you go. Stop. I'll bring it down. Okay, now let's do what we just did duplicate with move down. Let's do one more. Okay, and now we still have the animal frame um, tag on the thing, so I can go do like this now. Keep it perpendicular, perpendicular. Habitat, doesn't matter what it is, even though it may have that. And I need the extra large. Flip. Flip. And flip. Get back there in the uh, corner. Oh, get back there or not. I don't think it's fine. I don't think it's fine. There you go. A bed. Climbing shelter, or climbing apparatus, and all that.
So, yeah. I think they'll be happy. I'd be happy. Okay, you know you want to know before we get out of here. Will the lamers break their barrier? We're going to just keep it on it right here. See if they actually go all the way up to the top. Oh, we have an animal that died. Oh, no, 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 no. Who? Oh, a Quokka. Guys, you know what to do in the chat. I mean, feels bad, man, and the hearts. Let's get the veterinary to take care of Umbara. I'll see what Hang needs here in a sec. I can do for you guys. It'll work out somehow. Guys, try it. I just want to see if you do it. You'll probably do it next uh, on the next episode, and I will not see it. All I'll see is an alarm bell, an animal escape barrier, or something. And I'll be like, I know who it is. You don't even need to tell me. They may not do it, but you never know. Alright, Hitterana is still out there. Uh, who are you seeing in front of the Flamingos? I think we already saw. Weebina? Oh, yeah, she's doing alright. Okay. Can't believe there's so many camas still alive. Oh, that will be changing soon. Well, so far, so good on our zoo. I'm very pleased with it. A steady five stars. Um, guest happiness ratings. Yeah, well, you know, not that great. Hot, thirsty, should have brought an umbrella. I'm surprised there's not more people that says, where in the heck is my balloon? Why is my balloons all popping? Speaking of... You like a balloons, family? <laughs> okay, 
I've had my fun. Maybe not yet. I should have a balloon pop uh, scoreboard going on the on the Chiron right now. Trying to do it without stopping uh, the clock. I know I'm a mean person. <laughs> now they're all upset. But, how about you guys? Oh, no, wait. Are you guys getting fed? Are you guys hungry at all? I have got to get... All right, let me see if you're going to feed them. If you're not going to feed them, we're going to call somebody in. Hurry up, they're hungry. Good job. I'm going to let you be and let you do. Um, Let's see where the, uh, how the works out over here for the What do you think? You like it? You can climb on it? You can sleep underneath? If you want it cooler, I can put air conditioner up here or whatnot. Oh. You don't like enrichment. You want more food and toy enrichments? Can I ask where all the food, the enrichments are? Hold on. You still load, right? Okay. Um. Food enrichments, I'll put some out. Do you have a forge box? I thought you had one at one point. Maybe it got destroyed in the construction, maybe? No. Soccer ball, yes. Mobile, yes. All right, I think that's tolerable. That should. should yep that did okay uh interspecies bonus i don't want to put another one in but what's oh red river hog nah it's too much too much just enjoy the world you're in okay 
All right, let's see. Um, I don't need to worry. Oh. On it. And as far as the... Capybaras, how are you guys doing? I heard there's a baby coming. Who's the mama? Right there. Nice. Nice. And everyone's good in their house, so. And we missed the darn talk again. But, all these people just left it. So, we must have done well. <sighs> okay. We got you guys covered. There's someone on the way working with you. I don't need to kick your buddy out with weird names. Henrietta's almost done with the uh, her inspection. I don't need to stick around for it because I know Flamingos did well. Meanwhile, we should take a wager. Too bad I can't uh, run a poll and keep it on until week seven. How long will you think it'll take for a labor to jump up here and jump out of the barrier? One episode? Two? I can't say because I don't even know. They're seeing it, but they're not, like, taking it. You know, they're not taking on it, uh. To go up there. I wouldn't want to go up there. But that's just me. Okay. Um, we reset ourselves back. There we go. A lot accomplished tonight. So the next time we get together in uh, week seven, as I start getting ourselves out of here, um, we'll be working at week seven with the grizzly bears. And as far as their placement, it's probably going to be right next to the panda. Because that's kind of like the area I think would be the best suitable spot. Um, for them. Actually, I'm going to keep steam up because i got to get ready for tomorrow's show. But, yeah. Uh, and, of course, don't forget, uh, clocks go to Daylight Savings Time in um, about four hours. So, plenty of time to go change those clocks as we close out the show. All right. As we are getting ourselves out of here for today, let's go through and uh, talk about how we're going to get through the rest of the broadcast week. So tomorrow, we are going to pay respects to Mars show as we move forward in Satisfactory without having a lizard doggo, of course. We had uh, a very bad incident last week. Not really wanting to rehash and talk about it, but we'll have a moment for him. Um, I might actually do a little work right after we get off the air with insiders cleaning up his base area that he was in. So Monday, we're back with Satisfac or no, so, uh, Subnautica. Hopefully to get uh, the Sea Moth home and do more work with that. Maybe some exploration stuff on the island uh, to get some blueprint stuff for the observatory and planners. 
And of course, the end of the broadcast week, we are doing civil logistics contract driving. And then, of course, our two-year anniversary next week on Friday. And if you guys want to do a charity saying or something, you got to let me know by Tuesday so I can make some arrangements, okay? Otherwise, that's going to do it for me. I'll see you right here. Change those clocks. Don't forget about that. We are closing out our broadcast for today on Civil Game Vision. Let me ask you for a few more minutes of your time. I want to thank all our servers who have come to watch the broadcast, whether you are someone new to the channel today or someone who has been coming through and watching off and on over the last 10 years. Let me admit it that you are awesome. Here on the Twitch Broadcast Network, there is an abundance of entertainment options and for someone who provides over 10 years of family-friendly strategic and simulation entertainment, thank you for choosing Several Game Vision as your entertainment today. Make sure you check us out on our Several Neighborhood on Discord, our home on the Metaverse, and our website for the latest news updates, recaps from the annual State of the Several presentations, and our programming announcements. Now, furthermore, I want to stop and acknowledge everyone who had come by way of raids, hot trains, and those who have followed in today, as well as those who have supported our neighborhood by cheering bits, donating, becoming a new insider, a new subscriber, or for those who are thankful and continue their subscriber benefits, thank you everyone for all the support. It is now that time to have yourselves a great rest of your day, night, wherever you are, whatever you're watching this broadcast from. If you're coming in here late and you will want to watch the broadcast on demand, your broadcast will be made immediately available on Twitch, on our website, and our archive channel in one hour's time. Now, one last thing for you all simmers. You keep calm and happy simming. I'll see you real soon. Simmers, Insiders, this is the voice of SimWorld. Dustin Mathai is once again here. Thank you for watching SimWorld Game Vision as we are your home for all things simulation. Today's telecast of SimWorld Live featured on SimWorld Game Vision is produced in the David Kent Roma Studio at the SimWorld Game Vision Broadcast Center in Topeka, Kansas, and is copyrighted for the private viewing of our Simmers and with limited use rights access for Twitch Interactive Incorporated. Any other use of the telecast, including video, audio, pictures, or depictions of the programming without the consent of Nathaniel Jackson Productions Double LC is prohibited. Thank you for watching today's presentation of SimWorld Live right here on SimWorld Game Vision.